I'm going to read you today Miffy in the Tent. I used to love Miffy stories when I was your age, so I really couldn't stop reading you stories without doing one of the Miffy ones. Miffy got up one sunny day and to her mother went. The weather's lovely, Miffy cried. Can we put up the tent? Yes, that is fine, her mother said. A very good idea. I think it should go on the grass. Let's put it over here. It was a very jolly tent. Its walls were bright and new. The flap in front could fold right back enough to let you through. It had a window at the back that you could open wide and shut again if it was cold, with tapes upon the side. I'll go and make some sandwiches for you, said Miffy's mum, and you can eat them in the tent. Hurrah, said Miff, what fun! So Miffy, snug inside the tent, sat eating on the ground. But suddenly, what's that? She cried, I'm sure I heard a sound. She scrambled quickly to the door and stuck her head outside. Now I can see what I could hear. I see it, Miffy cried. <sighs> hurrah, she shouted, oh hurrah. Now what did Miffy mean? Her mother blowing up the pool. That was what Miff had seen. So Miffy took off all her clothes. She had not many on. There now, said Miffy, that is that. I'll paddle in the sun. The water was so lovely too, so clear and fresh and cool. And Miffy splashed and laughed and splashed a long time in the pool. When she came out, she dried herself at once from top to toe. The towel was so warm and soft it made her body glow. Then Miffy went back to the tent and pulled the window to close. And Miffy was so sleepy now, she fell into a doze. <laughs>